This is episode 47 of the plan. Wait, B is it? It is. It is. Oh my God. I thought we had way more than that. No, I'm hoping we can get <laughs> what to, happened? I'm hoping we can get to 50 <clears throat> by, um, by Christmas. Hopefully. What? Are you serious? Hopefully. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, we used to do this every week. We can do that. You... I mean, maybe we could. Do you know what day it is? <laughs> um, do you know what day Christmas is? I have no idea. Not okay. a clue. Not a fucking clue. Um, <laughs> wow, what a fucking week. Um, I want to start off by talking about the fact that my Snapchat of four and a half years was deleted this week. What? Yeah. Is that a thing? Like, I've never heard of that. I've never heard of it either. And it it took, for anybody that doesn't know, and I don't know if I've ever talked about this on here before, I have a stalker. Um, she's a cyber stalker. She's been stalking me for five plus years at this point. She's responsible for every deletion I've had on Instagram. And now responsible for snapchat it's hard to believe that somebody fucked one time is obsessed with you still five years later um (laughs) but you know and it took it it literally took hundreds of reports because i've had hundreds of reports on snapchat over the last four and a half years for sure all bullshit because i do follow the terms i might walk a fine line but i follow the fucking terms and conditions um (laughs) And it wasn't really that big of a deal because I because I have my website and so many people have signed up for emails through there. Within within an hour, I had a new Snapchat. Within twenty four hours, I sent a fucking email out to thirty thousand fucking people. So it was like nothing really, you know. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I'm sure I had millions on Snapchat. There's no way of knowing, but. I'll get it back. I ain't worried about that. But I am going to leave a link down below to my new Snapchat. My new Snapchat is um, YFB-Tribe. And that is where I'm operating from these days. Um, Yeah. Well, that sucks. (laughs) I mean, it was a little annoying, to be honest with you. It was. (laughs) But I'm mean, prepared for all this crap. I've been dealing with this shit for fucking five years. Five fucking years. Well, have you ever been deleted off of like Twitter or Facebook or anything? Nah, that's another thing I wanted to fucking mention. I didn't realize this and I don't know how many Facebook um, followers actually listen to the podcast. Because I was never really Facebook active but I would have um, all of my posts from Instagram would go over and be automatically posted on Facebook. And I was looking at my Facebook, uh, I don't know, it was a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I realized that, oh, I kind of figured I wouldn't have had any posts for a while because I got deleted back in October. So there was nothing to, you know, be going onto the site. Mm-hmm. Come to find out, I hadn't had a post since like late September, and I'm like trying to figure out how to post on fucking Facebook, like because you know I've posted there many times. You know what I mean? Is that your cat? Yeah. Do you hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've posted on Facebook many times, so I know how to use the fucking app, but I couldn't find anywhere to post, and I'm like fucking around with it, and I go to like my personal account, and finally I figure out that they're not allowing me to post anything on my Facebook anymore because I will not give them permission to have my location 24 hours a day. So if you follow me on Facebook and you listen to the podcast, sorry, I'm just not, they have done nothing for me. Instagram, Facebook, they're the same fucking thing. They've done nothing for me. They've been a pain in my fucking ass, and I refuse to give that cocksucker my fucking, my location 24 hours to suck my dick. You fucking, (sighs) you little weasel bitch. That fucking jerk off is the fucking worst, man. 
So social media is just so like sensitive now. I feel like it's, it's just, like impossible. It's, to, not, like, it's not even that it's, it's not even that it's sensitive. It's just become complete shit. It used to be fun. You know, my little group of friends that all make memes like that I talk to on a daily fucking basis. Nobody, nobody has fun anymore. Nobody enjoys it anymore. It's trash. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's such a fucking selfish, greedy fucking piece of shit. That if he's not making all the fucking money, he's not going to let anybody make any money. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's really the reason I, you know, I knew eventually my Instagram would get deleted once again. Because old kooky pants. But I didn't, I'm not fighting for it. I'm not even trying to get it back. I don't care because it's fucking trash. It's yeah, fucking, I'm not even trying to people, get mine back either. Even people that follow me from their personal accounts tell me all the time, it's trash. It sucks. It's not fun. And it's the fucking truth. So I do have a, an Instagram that I use. I'm not very, I mean, I'm active on it, but I'm not like active the way I used to be. And it's your underscore, underscore, fuck boy. You know, if you didn't know that, you can find me there. But I don't know. It's all become trash and something has to change. And I feel like something's probably going to change soon as far as, you know, the social media sites go. Anyway. <laughs> I also, yeah, I don't even remember when I lost my account. It's been a while, though. It's been, but- yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a really long time, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, waste of fucking time. It is. It sure. really is a waste. Well, I lost my account, my Instagram account in 2017. It was the second time I'd lost it for a year or more. And when I came back, it was it was totally different. Everything had changed. I went from, like, let me see how I should say this. It went from being very worth it. Very worth it with just 1.1 million followers to coming back a little bit over a year later with more followers than that. And it was just trash. It was it, the money people were offering you. It was a fucking joke. It was a joke. Like I couldn't even accept it because it was insulting. I'd rather not give you promotions. So anyway, <laughs> um, my website is getting a fucking makeover. I know I mentioned it last week, but any information, even the podcast now, you can find on the website the link. Oh, to, really? That's yeah, cool. Yeah, for sure. I got all episodes are on there. It's a, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I think it just is a link to this to the SoundCloud page. Oh, okay. I've got and that has all of them. I got this chick that's working with me that like knows how to do things. I know how to do nothing. Um. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything either. I'm really surprised that I figured out how to do this, honestly. I mean, I am too, to be honest. (laughs) Just saying. I'm so bad at, like, (laughs) stuff. (laughs) Oh, man, when it comes to fucking computers, I'm not the one. I I have no idea how to do anything. Yeah, me neither. Um... Anyway, it's, it's been updated a little bit, but it will be completely updated over the next couple of months but any information about anything that happens with me as far as you know these stupid ass deletions or whatever you will find information for that immediately um on the website which is yourfuckboy.com i know crazy right so anywho (laughs) um what's new um I don't really have much. How was your Thanksgiving? It was boring. I didn't do anything. I had like a really interesting Thanksgiving. Why is that? (laughs) Um, Well, so I, my family always does Thanksgiving, like usually like the Saturday or Sunday after Thanksgiving. Like we don't do it actually on Thanksgiving itself. You guys are so different and so cool. Well, that's not why we do it just because everyone has like so many places they need to go and it's hard to do it all in one day. So we just pick a different day. So then we have more time together. Basically, it's the idea. Was your sexy ass sister there or what? Huh? Was your sexy ass sister there or what? She was there. And so she has two kids. One is like a baby baby and one is a toddler. Did she eat a breast or a wing? 
Well, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> and then my other sister, she has like a child and then a, a toddler. And already sounds annoying. The whole thing. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so I was working. And I got off work and went straight over there. And they told me like, oh, the food will be ready when you get here. Because everyone was already there like before me. I'm like, cool. Because I just want to like eat and leave. So whatever. (laughs) And so I get there and they're like, okay, food's ready. And I go to eat. And the turkey is not even cooked all the way. It's literally straight up pink inside. (laughs) And mind you, there are children crying basically the entire time. <laughs> and my sisters are just like running around like who cooked the fucking hey, hey, who cooked the fucking turkey? I don't know because I wasn't there. Like I said, I was at work. I don't know what all built up to this. I got here right at the time to eat when everything was ready. <laughs> So I refused to eat the turkey. (laughs) And she's like, oh, we're just going to put it in the microwave. Oh, my God. (laughs) So then they cooked it supposedly all the way through, but I still refused to eat it. Uh, I was not going to do that. I'm not eating microwave turkey, man. That's not not happening. And my sister literally said, like, after we're all done eating, I'm really, I really am sorry if anybody gets food (laughs) poisoning. My nephew threw up after he ate. Oh, my God. It was just horrible. Everybody was sick. Like, the kids were, like, sick with colds and stuff. So, they're, like, coughing, <laughs> crying, snot bubbles. Like, just gross. I'm and surprised then you. like, raw turkey. Like, it was just a fucking mess. I just could not wait to get out of there. I didn't even, like, eat anything at all. Oh, wait, I did eat green bean casserole because that's like my favorite like dish. So I did get that. Hey, most and I'm most people's it. is mac and cheese or stuffing, but whatever. I do like mac and cheese and stuffing, but I do like green bean casserole. And I was like eating it. That was the one thing I was okay with eating was that and stuffing. Like that's pretty much all I ate. <laughs> I, I fucking love stuffing. Mm. And, um, I'm eating my green bean casserole and I feel like a like something in my mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> and so I pull it out. It's like halfway down my throat, mind you. So I'm like <gasps> pulling it out. And it's literally like like string or so, like plastic or something. I don't exactly know <laughs> what it is. It, and then it, I could like feel parts of it still stuck like in my throat for like the whole next day. I would, I would, I would never eat with your sisters again if I was you. <laughs> ever. Ever. Like that was the worst Thanksgiving I've ever had. I wasn't even full. I lost my appetite after the green bean thing. <laughs> On top of the turkey. Like I was okay not eating turkey and just eating like the sides until I got that. And I was just not about it. And I was high, and I still didn't want to eat. Like, it was just a horrible experience. I I remember in my 20s, um, I, we were having, like, a friend's Thanksgiving kind of thing um, at a buddy of mine's house. And I guess none of us really knew anything about cooking a turkey. <laughs> so we go out and I think it was like the day of and we go out and we buy a turkey and I guess the turkey was frozen <laughs> and our dumbasses are trying to fucking defrost this fucking thing with hot water not cold water hot water <laughs> it never defrosts we try to cook it nah, nah. <laughs> so you can't cook a frozen turkey <laughs> I mean I'm sure you can if you take long enough <laughs> I think after like 10 hours, we gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I have never cooked like a whole turkey before, but I'm okay with that. I have. I mean, now at this point in my life, I have, you know, but I didn't do that all that this year. I just, I had some good seafood and minded my fucking business. <laughs> um, and I'm glad you had like the worst Thanksgiving ever. Why are you? 
<laughs> because I asked people for Thanksgiving Day stories, and I haven't read any of them. I hope they're good. And when we're done <laughs> reading them, I'll tell mine, um, one of mine that I have. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, so you didn't die, so there's that. <laughs> Yeah, but it was just, it was horrible. I, like, if that's what being a mom is, I have multiple children, like, don't sign me up. Oh, gross. <laughs> like, they couldn't even cook an edible meal. I don't know. It was horrible. That's bad. I mean, you know, I've seen what your sister looks like, one of them at least. Like, you know, sometimes you got to trade beauty for brains. It's a thing. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I, I... Just don't want to experience that ever again. Luckily, to my knowledge, nobody got sick, but just horrible. Not okay. Um, okay, so I'm thinking we should, let's keep on with this Thanksgiving theme. Let's see. Let's see what the people had to say about Thanksgiving. Um, you want to read the first one? Which one? It's uh, the the group of pictures towards the bottom. The plus three. Towards the bottom? Is it the last one? The top one. No, Wait, it's the, not the last the very, one. The very first one? The dude's name starts with Squall. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay, I can read it. <laughs> Get your finger out. Okay. <laughs> No joke, I had an ex on Thanksgiving asking me to put my dick into random foods so she could suck <laughs> it off when her family went upstairs. And the two of us were putting away all the leftovers. It was honestly hilarious, and I recommend it 10 out of 10. I, did. <laughs> I have never, <laughs> but I mean, I'm not opposed. As long as the food is edible. <laughs> I did read that one. I was like, I, I don't. I didn't know how to feel after reading that. I was like, "Huh, all right." I mean, like, don't knock it till you try it. I guess. Well, you don't. You're not a food person. I think. What do you? No, food and sex. No, no, yeah. it's sticky. Well, I mean, I've jerked off in plenty of women's meals and made them eat it. I do enjoy that. I did. I do enjoy. But that. not like food off of somebody's body or off of yours. I, I'll be honest with you. I did that shit in high school. Yes. The whipped cream and all that crap. It's sticky. It's gross. I don't like, I don't have time for that shit. I really don't. <laughs> it's just, it's like, it's just a pain in the ass. I don't like sticky foods. I don't like sticky anything. You don't like sticky anything? I don't know. Name something good that's sticky. I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> I'll think about it. I, I mean, I'm trying to think of anything sticky that... You don't like, like, cinnamon rolls? Those are sticky. I, I have celiac, and I'm fucking lactose intolerant. I can't eat that shit. So, yeah, did I enjoy them as a kid? For sure. Delicious. What about Would honey? I incorporate that into sex? No. Honey? I love honey. Um, That's pretty sticky. Yeah, it is. I would not incorporate it into sex, though. No, I wouldn't either. I was talking about sticky things. Okay. Well, keep going. So we got honey. <laughs> I I mean, I just really had to name one and I got it. So. Okay. We can move right the fuck along then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Got pretty drunk and made an abortion joke in front of my very Christian aunt and grandmother. They glared at me while my, while my parents laughed. Well, it sounds like you came from a... The right family. Yeah. <laughs> fuck out of here. Um, yeah. I have a really Christian side too, and it's just uncomfortable to be around. I don't. I don't. I'm both well, sides. Well, actually not Christian. They're Catholic, but it's similar. I come from a Catholic family on one side and Greek Orthodox on the other. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> a typical Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner for my immediate family and we've done this for like the last fuck man at least 10 years we sit 
we sit around and we talk and we eat and we play fucking Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And if you know what that is, <laughs> you can get a grasp on how the fuck my family gets down. Because it's the greatest show <laughs> ever on television. I've seen like little clips. I don't know much about it. I know Danny DeVito's in it. He is. And it's funny and I'm imagining inappropriate. Very much so. Okay. So I got the gist of it. Very much so. <laughs> and, you know, my mother is not like, she's not a crude woman or anything like that. She hates it when I cuss and whatever, but even my mother can appreciate the fucking comedy of it. You know what I mean? So I don't ever find myself really in, in the position of having to watch my tongue because of religion. I mean, I have in the past with friends, parents, and shit like that, but, you know, you sit back and listen to those fucking nut jobs. It's it's as funny as anything. <laughs> it's fucking I literally, I sat in a fucking car one night, and I was in the car with a friend of mine's wife and his mother and his two kids, and the mother was driving us back to wherever the fuck we were going. And she, I don't even know if I should tell this story, but she sat there and she was like, okay, first of all, let me preface this by saying the wife and the mother don't get along. The mother hates the wife. So naturally the, the wife hates the mother, but we're in the fucking car and the mother is very religious. She's, um, she's Cuban. She's a very religious woman. And we had gone to a first communion. That's what it was. We had been at a first communion and naturally we went out and got drunk afterwards. So we're coming home from that. And the mother asked if we had gotten communion. And I guess we were both like, yeah, whatever. And she was like, did you, did you drink the body of Christ? I was like, fuck no. I didn't put my mouth on that nasty ass shit. There's fucking three, four hundred people in here drinking out of that fucking thing. Hell no. Was, I know. I haven't just, been to church since I was a very young child. And at that time, I didn't really think anything of it. But looking back as an adult, like, hell no. All they do is wipe it with the same fucking napkin say over, and over, over and over again. And over again. So, so, <laughs> so, right. Exactly. Now, listen. <laughs> The wife says, she, you know, because we're both like, that's disgusting. She was like, it's fine. <laughs> and the wife says, well, that's how your son got herpes. <laughs> this is how savage the mother is. Because I don't know the story. It, it, he, has, he doesn't have dick herpes. He's got mouth herpes. So I'm inclined oh, to... Oh, he actually has herpes. Yeah, okay. he, he actually has herpes. <laughs> okay. Of the mouth. So I'm kind of inclined to believe that. Like, I can definitely see that <laughs> happening. If you're, I can see that, too. If every That's single week... That's horrible. Yeah, it's, That's horrible. It's that somebody with herpes knowingly would do that. Right? But, I mean, th there's a big part of the population that's born with with mouth herpes i guess is i don't i'm not a doctor i don't know everything but with mouth herpes i think there's a big population that is born with that you know whatever he would mm -hmm. try to pass me a joint when you have a breakout i'm like get the fuck away from me i'm not touching that it. i disgusting. just would hope that if you have that like you know you have that you would have the common decency to at least let people know and leave it up to them or just don't share anything ever or or you could have the belief that his mother had. <laughs> his mother straight up turned and was like, that's not possible. That's in God's house. He can't, he can't get herpes in God's house. So one, she was pre, you know, uh, pushing her bullshit. But two, it was kind of like a fuck you to her. Like, no, that's not how he got herpes. He was cheating on you. <laughs> that's how he got herpes. <laughs> So, and I'm in the backseat of this fucking car. Like, I can't even talk because I know the woman doesn't like me. She never liked me. I didn't give a fuck. So I just wait. It, which woman? The mother. Uh, I keep to oh. myself. 
you know, okay. I don't, I don't engage with her, but I'm in the back seat. Like, is this bitch serious right now? Did she just say that science, science, is not real <laughs> in a church? That's what yeah. she said. That's what the fuck she said, and she believed that shit. Yeah, that can't really, happen really in scary God's to house. People. That can't it's happen scary. in God's house. So, so if somebody walks in, and and I'm. I'm pretty sure I've seen many of these stories. If somebody walks into God's house with a gun, is that bullet not going to work? Well, I think we've seen otherwise. (laughs) But maybe that wasn't the right house for God. I don't know. It's fucking delusional, man. It's fucking delusional. It's scary because people actually believe that. Yeah, it's fucking scary for sure. Like how and the, then they ha- there's there's people out there that are having children and making children believe the same thing. It's just like for oh, sure. It's just it's the worst for sure. My parents put me through Catholic school as many years as they could before I got kicked out several times. But it wasn't because they like my parents weren't like overly religious. They're not religious at all, really. Spiritual, my mother, yeah, but they're not like religious like that. They put us through there for a better education. Yeah, they didn't give. A I fuck. feel like that's pretty common. They didn't give a fuck about the religion part, and neither did yeah. I. So. Yeah, I was like Catholic. I I was like forced into it when I was a child because of my grandma. She was super religious, and then uh, once my parents got divorced, my mom was like, "Fuck that! Like, you don't have to go anymore." <laughs> <laughs> so I lucked out, but I did it in the very early. Stages, and then I stopped, and I'm so glad I didn't have to keep going. Those people are nuts, man. <sighs> They're fucking nuts. All right, let's read the next one. Go for it. Oh, hold on, I am not ready. The next one after that. During Thanksgiving break, mm-hmm. when I was in eighth grade at my aunt's house, Dad was asleep in one room, one cousin in another, another cousin. My aunt and uncle passed out on the couch. While they were asleep, I was fucking my cousin's friend who was a senior on the kitchen floor. (laughs) What? What? Wait, what? I really thought it was just going to say fucking my cousin. (laughs) That's what I was waiting for. (laughs) Like, not putting the friend part in. (laughs) Okay. Um, No walls. Open floor plan. Never got caught. Did it three times. Well, that's not the kind of story I was looking for. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the fuck am I supposed to say about that I don't know you're the one that screenshot it that's disgusting <laughs> stop fucking your cousin I really that's- thought I was just going to say cousin I was fucking my cousin wait it, that's what it did say isn't it no it says my cousin's friend oh oh alright okay <laughs> That's a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still like whatever. Like, I guess that's cool. Is it? And they did it three times. Like, how many, how long was each time? Like, uh, then maybe I'd be impressed. But let's, let's, I mean, if first. it's going to be three times the night of Thanksgiving, I'm guessing it didn't last very long. <laughs> but that was from a chick. So, you know, who knows? Man. People are weird. <laughs> Is that all the Thanksgiving one? I have, yep, I believe that it is. Okay. There's so some... what are your Thanksgiving stories? <laughs> My Thanksgiving story. My Thanksgiving story happened a couple years ago. And I I guess I have to I have to preface this story with another story. I used to fuck with this chick. And it's a little Italian chick from South Philly. And I was I was in Atlanta one day. And she was supposed to be flying down to meet me there for like the weekend or whatever. And I knew like her record with flying places. She would go to the fucking airport. She would get shit fucking faced and, you know, miss flights and everything else. So I'm, I tell this bitch, I'm like, don't miss the fucking flight. Don't get fucking drunk. Don't miss the fucking flight. I'm not in the fucking mood for this bullshit. Just get your ass down here. <laughs> so what does she do? 
The opposite? The complete opposite. She gets shit faced. She misses the fucking flight. I am I I was driving to Atlanta. Um I was living like five hours from there. I was driving there. I get down there and you know, I find out that she missed the flight, not coming, whatever, whatever. So I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> I go to my boy's house, just had gotten there, I'm like having a drink, relaxing, and my phone starts blowing the fuck up. And she's like, this chick is blowing my phone up. Back to back to back to back. Mind you, this is a 28-year-old woman, okay? <laughs> I feel like I need to say that. Finally, I get pissed off, and I answer the phone, I say, stop fucking calling me. I'm at my boy's house, leave me the fuck alone. This isn't so-and-so, it's her mother. I was like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, are you fucking serious? <laughs> don't you ever call my daughter again, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, whatever, I don't care. Like, are you, like, are you serious? You're calling me? Like, I don't know you. Your daughter's a fucking adult. Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> she was like, don't ever call her again. I was like, okay. Bitch, I lay the pipe. She'll be calling me tomorrow. Don't worry about that. And of course she did. Whatever. So, this was over the summer. Thanksgiving rolls around. We're still fucking with each other. Pretty hard. And I was in D.C. for work Thanksgiving weekend. And all my friends were like going to their parents' houses. I was staying with a friend. Everybody was going to their, their parents' houses. I ain't have shit to do. So she was like, well, why don't you come up here and um, and come to Thanksgiving? I was like, oh, oof, I don't know about that. Like, I'll come up for a few days, you know, hang out or whatever, you know, get a hotel, whatever. And she convinces me to go. And I, I didn't want to go. I was so hesitant because I was like, this is going to be fucking awkward as shit. I, I didn't know her family. I didn't know anybody in her family. I'd never met any of them. But I knew her mother knew me and knew me very well. So you remembered that. What? That that happened. Like you went there knowing and remembering that. It had just happened a few months prior. I think that happened in like June or July. That shit happened in like June or July. First of all, you don't forget shit like that because who the fuck, who the fuck's mother calls (laughs) anybody? Like, Like, sweetheart, your daughter's not even my girlfriend. What the fuck are you calling me for? We're just fucking. <laughs> so, so I end up going, and I'm I'm at you know I'm in South Philly. Anybody that knows Philly knows exactly what I'm talking about. It, they're Italians, you know. The grandparents are there, the uncles there, the fucking other daughter and like boyfriend or whatever the fuck he was was there, and then her fucking parents. And I meet everybody in the fucking house. Her mom was the last person I fucking met. And I was like, fuck it. Walked up to her mom. was like, hey, how you doing? And the disgust in her eyes. And the fact that she had to be fake and fucking, like, be nice to me. It was, I mean, she oozed it. She was just like, oh, you disgusting piece of shit. And I felt the same way. I was like, oh, you disgusting piece of shit. Fuck you. But you're going to feed me now, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) And she did. (laughs) <laughs> was it good the chick actually cooked like the whole fucking meal and she's actually a really good cook i had to stop oh. fucking i had to stop fucking with her. she was trying to get me fat she was getting <laughs> me fat actually like she's a really good fucking cook so yes the meal was delicious oh, and i made well, sure they all good. knew that i was like this was great now i'm gonna take your daughter and go fuck her some more happy thanksgiving nice yeah, man. Good times. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Thanksgiving story. I will tell you all, though, my Christmas story is far better. Far better. It's one of the most amazing stories you'll probably ever heal. <laughs> heal. Hear. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but I'm not going to tell it until Christmas time. I hate Christmas, okay. by the way, but... It's a fucking amazing story. Okay. 
I don't really have a Christmas story, not one that I'd like I mean, to share at least. Go, go to your sister's house for Christmas this year. I'm sure you'll have one. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to do it on a different day. We don't do it actually on Christmas. So <laughs> I don't know if it will line up with when we do the podcast. <laughs> Christmas on New Year's. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Oh, Knife Girl. Remember Knife Girl? Yes. Now she's gear shift girl. Oh, okay. I was pretty impressed by this. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, I, can you describe what it looked like? Like what kind of shifter? Oh, yeah. I'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> I had told her after we recorded, I was like, I mentioned you on the last podcast because of that video you sent me. And... That same night. Does she listen? I don't know if she listens or not, but she listened to that one briefly. Oh, she did. Or quick enough. And she, that night, sends me a video of her putting a fucking gear shift up her cunt. Like, and I'm not talking about like a small gear shift. I'm talking about like almost the size of a fucking pool cue. Okay. It was big. (laughs) Okay. And impressive. And as soon as she as soon as she sent that to me, I was like, I mean, if you want me to talk about you every week on the fucking podcast, I will. <laughs> you keep sending me shit like this. I I will. I will I will fucking every goddamn week. It was very impressive. Very impressive. Wow. She sets the bar really high. She does. <laughs> <laughs> she does. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll see what she has in store for us this week. She's on, <laughs> she's literally on my premium Snapchat right now, fucking herself with a a wine bottle. It looked like, and like from behind, squirting everywhere. It's fucking um, it's hot. It's fucking hot. So <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So funny story. <laughs> God, I'm a fucking piece of shit. When I was recently, when I was back on the East Coast, I was staying with a friend of mine. Um, she was at work for the night. I was staying at her place and I was looking for something and she was like, I don't know. It's in my closet. Fucking find it. Whatever. I was like, all right, whatever. And I see this fucking teddy bear. I was like, that's weird. It was like kind of out of place and it was just kind of looked weird. And I like picked it up and it was like really heavy. And I was like, the fuck? So, (laughs) this is so bad. So I, you know, I'm looking at the teddy bear and I see it's a zip. There's a zipper. So I unzip the zipper. Can she see you? No, she was at work. Oh, oh, she was at work. Okay. Yeah. So I unzipped the zipper and I put my hand in there and I pull out this fucking bag. If it was cocaine, it would have been like close to a half a key. It was very heavy. And I'm very familiar with cocaine. I've never done cocaine, but I'm very familiar with it. The smell, the, the, the texture, how it looks, whatever. And I was like, and she, I know she, you know, does a little cocaine from time to time. So I was like, what the fuck? I'm holding this fucking bag. I'm like, it's zip tied at the top and then burned. It's a plastic bag and then burned, like melted. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I was like, and I, you know, I've seen a lot of different types of cocaines. I've seen cocaine be different colors. I've seen it all. And I'm trying to smell it. I, there's no smell coming from it. And I'm like, I'm feeling it. And I'm like, I can feel the grittiness. And I was like, there's definitely like a cocaine texture. It was, it was all powder. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like re-rocked or, or compressed. Um, and I'm so confused. I'm either like, I'm like, either she's stashing cocaine for somebody. 
were like, she don't know this shit is here. I was convinced it was cocaine. I was like halfway out the door with it. I was going to D.C. I was calling people. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> call my boy. I was like, I think I just found like a half a key of coke in this bitch's closet. I'm about to come over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to come over. <laughs> so, whatever, I put it back. I don't say nothing. And the next night we're hanging out. And I, like, I just can't, I, I can't keep my mouth shut. And I, <laughs> I just look at her. <laughs> She's standing in her closet. And I look at her and I was like, why you got so much cocaine hidden in a fucking teddy bear over there? Or no, I said, why you got so much cocaine hidden in your closet? She was like, I do? What are you talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> she was genuinely happy. I was like, in the teddy bear. And like instantaneously started crying. <laughs> Jesus. She said, that's not cocaine. That's my father's ashes. <laughs> <laughs> it was her father's ashes and it was actually the same week of her father's the anniversary of her father's death I have never felt like more of a piece of shit in my life <laughs> but as she cried she laughed you know when she told her sister about it her sister laughed hysterically um, I felt fucking horrible <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I didn't know that it would be in a teddy bear. I've never heard of that. I think her mother. But I know she, they do all kinds of crazy things with ashes nowadays. She said her mother gave her the teddy bear when, when her mother gave her the ashes. Um, I, uh, I've, I had never seen the ashes of a dead anything. So I, I didn't know. Like I've seen ashes of someone one time. And I feel like I could tell that they were ashes. Oh, I definitely, you definitely, like what I saw, you couldn't, it was, it looked like a powder. It would look like powder. It didn't look like ash. And it was well, that's what, very heavy. That's what I was going to say. I probably, I guess maybe people look different depending on how it was done <laughs> or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't, like what I don't part know. you get? Like, I'm not usually <laughs> what in the part business. Is this? <laughs> I'm not usually in the business of burning people to death. So I don't know. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yeah. Not usually. It's not. It's not my thing. Yeah. So you get for snooping. Why you shouldn't? I go wasn't snooping. Things. She was like, I was looking for something. She was like, I don't know. Fucking find it. I was like, yeah. But did you think it was going to be in the teddy bear? Whatever you were looking for. No. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe I was just being nosy. Well, it was a ball of You're cash. You're snooping. Exactly. Doing what you shouldn't do. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. I want you to read this, the, the highlighted thing. Uh, I want you to okay. read this because this is like, I feel like this is so you. Wait, no, we already read this. This is old. We did? This is last, yes, we, that was last week. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. Well, then I jerked off of my socks on the other day. Oh, you did? But it was a pretty filthy, like, I was getting off on fucking, uh, let a me, video. No, 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 not a video. Oh. Actually, for anybody that gets off on FaceTime or Skype or whatever, what we use, her and I, to record this podcast is a uh, program called Zoom, Z-O-O-M. And... I highly suggest that if you're getting off and having, quote, FaceTime sex, you use this fucking thing because you can record the whole fucking thing. You can, oh, you can? Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, oh, you can. I see the option down there. You can. We don't record on this, like, through this, uh, whatever the fuck it is, program. We record on something else, but... You can record on this. And I did it the other day. And I was like, fuck FaceTime, fuck Skype, fuck all this other crap. Zoom is where it's at. 
But I mean, it was hard to tell. Like I came really fucking hard, like abnormally fucking over the top hard. But at the same time, she was doing some very abnormal things, and it's really hard to tell whether it had to do with the socks <laughs> or just the situation. So I'm trying to. So do, you haven't done it since. I'm trying to do some test jerking off for you guys. Yes. It's for science. It's totally for science. You need to do more I'm, with it on. Okay. Well, then I think that you should get off a few times with your socks on, with your socks off. I mean, I've done both, but I just, I'm more comfortable with socks on. That's all. And I'm way more comfortable if he has socks on too, because I don't want to see that or have it touch me. So you know? weird. You're so fucking weird. You're so weird. Worst. No, it's just, it's just not necessary. You're so weird. No, it's not weird. It is. It's weird. It's weird. You're no. weird. It's weird. No. It's a thing. It's a weird thing. I mean, I'm weird, yeah, but I don't think because of the sock thing. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here was a question from a snapchat follower and podcast have you met up with a woman from snap who knew their angles <laughs> way too well if so do you follow through with fucking or do you bounce well it has happened to me only a couple times but uh no i didn't i i wouldn't fuck her I, I wouldn't fuck her. I ended up fucking her face a few times, but I wouldn't fuck her. But it has happened a few times. It definitely has. Um, so when you have encountered it, what is what what is the issue? Like, what part of her body is it? Her face? Is it her body? Is it her boobs? Like, what is it right. that she? Okay. So the first time this shit ever happened it was like when I first started doing all this shit. This chick hits me up. She looks like a very pretty girl. And immediately she was like, do you like tall chicks? I'm like, I don't know. Like, How tall are you? She was like, I'm six foot. I was like, okay, that's cool. Like she looked like a six foot, very skinny chick. Okay. I don't give a fuck. Cool. Comes from out of town to fucking come down and get some dick. <laughs> Man, to this day, I would pay fucking money to see a picture of my face when I opened that fucking door. I would pay money. I opened that fucking door. She was a lion ass bitch. <laughs> she was not six foot. She had to be a solid six five. Built like a fucking linebacker. <laughs> like, oh my God. I know my face was like, the fuck? Oh my god! You did, and when I say you look nothing like anything you've sent me, nothing like it. I don't know what kind of app she was using or what the fuck. It wasn't a different person. It was the same face, but she was just bigger. She had yes, it was yes. <laughs> That was when I was like, okay, I got to FaceTime everybody before I ever made a period. Like, I have to FaceTime them. And some of these <laughs> bitches try to be slick. You try to FaceTime them, kind of like what you're doing right now. You're sitting in the dark. Oh, we're, <laughs> we FaceTimed. Ha, ha, ha. Bitch, turn the light on. Turn the fucking light on. I actually have my light on. <laughs> Do you. Was, was I not what you expected when you met me? No, I, are you kidding me? I've fucking done the fucking podcast with you for a year at that point, and I see you every single time we do it. Yeah, but it's dark. So? So, I look the same. Okay, we're also, disgustingly enough, Facebook friends, and I see pictures of you all the time. That's true. <laughs> the fuck? Did I look different? I've never used no. a filter in my fucking life. No, you didn't. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so. I was expecting you to be shorter, though, because I feel like guys lie about their 
I don't, sometimes. I don't lie about shit. I don't <laughs> lie about nothing. I'm 5'11". I thought you were going to be is. like 5'8". No, I'm 5'11". I'm not 5'10". I'm not 6 foot. I'm 5'11". This is what it is. Oh, my God, man. I meant to tell this like a couple months ago. I'm fucking sitting in my fucking room a couple months ago. I'm in my bed. I got a chick in the bed with me. And my best friend shows up over here with her fucking kids. And she was, I don't know what the fuck she was doing. Whatever. <laughs> and she... she She's like a freak about recycling, and I don't recycle really. But I'm like, all right, if you want me to recycle, you have to. You take my recycling. I, I ain't fucking with it. I'll put it to the side, but you take it. So <laughs> this bitch is a savage. She's in my room, and I was like, hey man, take my fucking trash. She says, don't talk about her like that about the chick that was laying in my bed. <laughs> I about died. Thank God the chick <laughs> has a sense of humor. She started laughing. I was like, oh my fucking God. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Don't talk about your friend like that. I was like, that's like a mother comment. I feel like my mother <laughs> would say that shit to me. Thank God the girl has a sense of humor. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> mm-hmm. Same same friend, same friend. Um, just last week, we um, we have a cleaning lady that will split. Like we'll take her daily rate. She'll come to my place for half the day and her place for half the day. And she calls me up because she the woman had come to my place first, and she calls me up. Um, and she's like, hey, do you want to come down here and hang out while she's over there? You know, so you're not embarrassed by, she calls it the sickness. So you're not embarrassed when she goes into your room. Because I don't hide anything. Like, I got dildos everywhere. I've got a fucking, I got torture fucking bars and fucking uh, a chair that's really bizarre. All kinds of shit all around the room. I don't have time to hide. I don't care. She was like, do you want to come down here? You know, so you're not embarrassed when she sees all that. I was like, that's so adorable that you think I would be embarrassed. Are you? Well, that's, kidding? that's what I was thinking. Cause if you're not going to put it away, obviously you're not embarrassed. I was like, sweetheart, I sit in here. I will sit in my room while she cleans it with everything out. I don't give one goddamn fuck. <laughs> Has she ever said anything to you? The cleaning lady? No. Mm. Yeah, so she, and she'll like, she'll like tidy up my dildos and I got like a G-spot vibrator that apparently I left in my bathroom she cleaned it put it to the side you know, very nice and neat <laughs> I just I feel like in that that line of business you're gonna see a lot of things so she probably sees lots of stuff so oh I'm not, sure I'm sure it's not really anything to her I'm sure I just be, <laughs> I'd be looking at her watching her look at things like you want some dick? Is she attractive? Would you? <laughs> we have this conversation a lot with my. I have it with my friend a lot. Um, she's definitely fuckable for an older woman. And when I say, oh wow, and when I say that means a lot from you. When I say older, I mean probably around my age. <laughs> that means a lot. I really think that means a lot coming from you. Latino women don't age the way white women do. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> just don't. She's she's a cool chick. She's a cool chick for sure. <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway, all right. I, we should start to wrap this up. <laughs> Are you gonna? There was one on here that I thought was really good that you would need to read because I don't want to read it. It's too long. Which one? The very, very last one. Wait, not that one. Oh, that's the a very last. The, the very last one in the group. In the group. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this shit threw me. Like it caught me too. <laughs> it really caught me. <laughs> 
So like every once in a while on my snap, I'll be like, tell me a secret and I'll post the best secrets anonymously. <laughs> and I just happened to do it this fucking week. And this one got me like it this this one got me too at the end i'm like wait what (laughs) (laughs) and it got a lot of people so i was like we should read this it's right yeah we definitely you should read that (laughs) okay i'll read it when i was a teenager i blew my best friend's big dicked brother in their finished basement while she was upstairs getting ready he blew in my mouth just as we heard her coming down from the second floor. We had enough time to put his dick away and get back on the couch before she was there saying, let's go. And as far as I know, it's the only time, it's the only blowjob her bro got from a guy. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, wait, what? (laughs) Yeah, no, that really got me when I read it too. (laughs) <laughs> so yeah, yeah that that shit caught me that shit did catch me that was a good one it was good i'm glad whoever wrote that in thank you and the yeah. way you wrote it was perfect perfect <laughs> so, absolutely perfect so fucking perfect <laughs> oh my goodness all right let's start to wrap this thing up um adam and eve they're a sponsor buy their toys i'm sure they got a lot of great deals going on right now for holiday specials yeah all that shit code fuckboy at checkout um you know if you play the fucking game right with adam and eve you can rack up a lot of shit for free and very easily build quite a collection so adamandeve.com code your fuck boy at checkout gets you 50% off of any item and a bunch of free shit so use the free shit as stocking stuffers or some shit everybody loves free shit oh yeah everybody unless it's herpes from the church nobody wants that nobody wants that chirpies <laughs> oh look at you did you just think of that I did wow that was good <laughs> That was really good. Chirpies, God's cereal. <laughs> it's, it's one to grow. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I'd imagine. I don't know. <laughs> I certainly do not. And I'm going to knock on some wood to make sure that stays that way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So as we close, I want to say. I've been, you know, there's a lot of new things I'm going to be offering on the website. And one of my very close friends, actually a couple of my very close friends are master carpenters. And we've been looking into um, making custom BDSM furniture pieces. And I want to get a little bit of feedback from you guys. If you can either message me or leave a comment or whatever letting me know if you'd be interested in something like that. And when I say custom, I mean, you, you know, you'll have a selection of a few different pieces you can pick. You pick out the color, the style, whatever the fuck you want, the kind of wood, whatever you want. You pick it all out. He builds it fucking custom. We ship like it out. What to- kind of furniture pieces are we talking Like chairs or like, what are we talking about? Chairs. Some of those, like, I don't know. They look like saw horses. I don't know the correct names for a lot of these things. Okay. Um, but we, what we're planning to do is to build out about five of these pieces and then we'll put them on the website. And if people want them, it'll become a process. Like you hit us up. This is the one I want. This is, you know, the kind of wood I want, the, the stain I want, the fucking leather I want, whatever the fuck it is. You know, you can, you know, pick more expensive shit or cheaper shit or whatever. So if any any of y'all have would have any interest in this, please um, either drop a comment, message me, let me know, because uh, I'm not about wasting my time or anybody else's time. Um, I think that's pretty much about it. Hopefully we'll have another one next week. Um, I, I, have you gotten any positive feedback about the sound from anybody? I honestly haven't heard from anybody. 
I got feedback from somebody that was like, I can now hear you in either headphone. It doesn't matter which headphone I'm listening to. Um, the sound is much better. So if it sounds better and things are, you know, sounding better on your end, please let us know that because I'm paying for it to sound better. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> pay for it if it's not sounding better. So please let us know. Um, I guess that's about it. Wrap it up, bitch. Okay. Sweet dreams. Nighty night. Dream of that pussy being tight. And don't ever go to Yes Sir, Daddy Sir's for any holiday dinners. Okay. I mean, if I was cooking, I'd imagine it'd be really good. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Because I might see you. It's a possibility. I'm going to see you next month. Mm-hmm. And we will record again in the same fucking studio with that creepy weird the guy. That basement. Was so He was so baffled by what was going on. <laughs> but I'm going to need you to cook for me. I can't cook anything for you. I don't eat. I You're special. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, cook me a turkey. I can eat a turkey. I've ne- I've never actually cooked a turkey. Oh, I told Jesus you that. <laughs> Christ, Jesus. I can cook you like a turkey breast. See that? Well, see that's the reason why I've never cooked a whole turkey because when I eat turkey, I just eat like a turkey breast. I don't eat like I don't eat anything really else. I guess I would eat a drumstick, but that's about it. So basically, the only turkey you eat is from the deli counter at the Safeway. I mean, I guess if you want to put it that way. <laughs> I just like the white meat better than the dark meat. Which is weird because you love black dick. Well, it's completely different. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> One has nothing to do with the other. Yeah. All right, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> All so right. that's why I've never cooked a whole turkey. I just don't have the need for it. Well, maybe you should try. No? Okay. <laughs> to be honest, with your family's track record, I don't want you to cook me anything. It's totally fine. Okay, I am not them. <laughs> I'm well, you know, it's a it's you know, it's a genetic thing. My whole family can cook. Well, not really. Me and my father and mother can cook. <laughs> but it's a genetic thing. Three fifths of my family can cook. <laughs> I mean you cooked me crab. Yeah, a lot of good that did. <laughs> what, a, what a waste of fucking money that was. <laughs> anyway, um, down below there will be a link to my new Snapchat. Click the link, add me, whatever. Um, yeah, that's about it. Happy Thanksgiving. Fuck Merry Christmas. And send us your Christmas stories. If you have good Christmas stories, with. I, I'm genuinely curious to see if any of your Christmas stories are better than mine. I guarantee you they're not. Well, any holiday, Kwanzaa. Um, what's the other one? Jewish people, Hanukkah. <laughs> okay. What, whatever you got. Send, send us, us your, your holidays, holiday. but this time of holiday. Yes. I think she just covered it all. A December holiday. A holiday. Holiday. <laughs> That's not what you said. Okay. Let's not talk about pronouncing words because you couldn't do it earlier either. Okay. Any holiday story. A holiday story. New uh, Year's. New Year's is coming up. How many people got pregnant on New Year's? Oh, God. I'm sure a lot. Jesus. Why? I thought that was like a fucking Valentine's Day thing. No, New Year's too. Everyone drinks on New Year's. That means Scorpios. Huh? That means they're producing Scorpios. I thought Valentine's Day was Scorpios. Technically, I think technically a woman is pregnant 10 months. Well, they are. I mean, it, it could be both. It, just, it really just depends on when you're pregnant and when you have the baby. If you <laughs> get pregnant on New Year's, have an abortion. <laughs> or just have one anyway. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're overpopulated. This world is trash. Like, why would you want to bring a baby into Thank it? Thank you. Thank you. Who wants <laughs> like, chirpies? Just stop. Nobody wants just chirpies. Stop. 
Abort, abort, abort. No chirpies. It's fine. Just, just, just don't do it. It's not smart. I mean, plan B that shit. We named a podcast after fucking, <laughs> after an abortion pill. Like, just fucking plan B it, man. Yeah. Shit. But if you don't, get an abortion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For sure. That's always, like, that's actually, that's actually plan B. <laughs> 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 that, that really isn't. No, it's C. Because A is like a condom. What? A is a condom. B is the pill. C uh, is an abortion. What language is that? It's a language of baby making. I, I never heard of such a thing. A cond what? Cond cond what? Oh, shut up! You're stupid. <laughs> I mean, I don't use them either. But I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that's number one. That and birth control. That's probably plan A. Plan B is then actually plan B. Plan C is when all else fails and you have to get an abortion. Plan D is when you have to take care of it yourself. Listen, we're never going to go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I have no plan A because I'm like, if I feel like coming in, I'm going to come in and then you're going to take plan B. And if plan B doesn't work out, we're going to do plan B. Again, but this time <laughs> with a vacuum. Up your cunt. That's D. That's D. That's taking care of it yourself. No, that's well. That's old. Well, that that was. I'm sorry. That was old school abortion. Now it's just a pill. All right. No, that's a uh, coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> that's only for Alabama and Georgia, I believe. Totally well, that's where you are. <laughs> I'm not. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I was just visiting. First of all, I've never lived there. I was just visiting. <laughs> please the south please all right anyway <laughs> links down below leave comments whatever the fuck i don't care um and uh, hopefully we'll see you again in about a week have a good night hope you enjoyed it and remember always be a good girl for daddy you fucking whore bye <laughs>